If you've ever wondered whether those Jeep Wranglers you see on the highway are just a fashion statement or can really do all the cool things you never get to do, prepare to be jealous, very jealous. We're in the 2012 Wrangler Unlimited and where you can go in this vehicle is virtually unlimited. We started the day in downtown Portland and now we're in the National Forest. Then again, if you're the PR person for Jeep and have the unfortunate job of running camera for me while I go off-roading in a six-speed, be afraid. Be very afraid. Stop, stop, stop. I wanted Lisa Barrow of Jeep to show you her face, but she was too busy watching her life flash before her eyes. Ooh. Oh, God, I didn't know I was going to get black and blue on this one. <laughs> <laughs> that laying on your side part you didn't like. <laughs> your face. <laughs> Flip it back to your face. <laughs> you should see the PR person's face right now. No. <laughs> Stop laughing and drive. <laughs> Fortunately, you won't have to see your life flash before your eyes every time you try to merge onto the highway. 2012 Wrangler has a completely new powertrain that makes the Wrangler both faster and more efficient. What's new for 12 is the uh, introduction of the Pentastar powertrain into Wrangler. Uh, coupled with the uh, engine, we have our new 5-speed automatic A580 transmission. And something unique to Wrangler is the addition of a 6-speed manual with the Pentastar. And it's, uh, it's faster by quite a bit, 40% more horsepower. It also gets better fuel economy by two miles per gallon. And then the really surprising thing is that the 2012 with the new engine is the same price as the 2011 with the old engine. One thing that is an innovation, however, is the ability to start the six-speed manual on a hill without pushing in the clutch. A significant change to the Wrangler over the past few years is the addition of two more doors. Well, the four doors expanded the appeal of the vehicle to an, a, a whole, new, an entirely new population. I mean, you've got the young families. Uh, the the four, two door, while it does have a back seat, it's a little more difficult to get into. Um, you can't get a car seat in and out of there very easily, of course. <laughs> so the four doors allowed us to appeal to young families who not only use it as a as a uh, you know an off-road vehicle and a fun vehicle, but they use it as a daily family vehicle. Um, probably to me the coolest that, you know family SUV you can buy. <laughs> the four-door Wrangler was not only a thumping success. Interestingly, the buyers skew younger than the folks who buy the two-door. One of the great things about this new Jeep Wrangler is it's got a power outlet in the front, not in the tailgate. So you can plug in the blender for some mythical tailgating party that nobody ever really goes on but for practical stuff like the battery to that camera you're watching me on plug it right in here while the Wrangler is a lot of fun it does require some compromises yeah. for example there's no power top. Power windows, yes. Power top, no. That may not seem like a big deal unless you're by yourself on the road when it starts to rain. A spokesperson said a power top just wouldn't be Jeep. To that I say rough and ready is fine. But if you're in a suit and tie heading for work when the skies open up, you might have second thoughts about how close you really want to get to Mother Nature on your way to a meeting. Also, while there's a great navigation system, which includes a breadcrumbs feature, which means even if you go off-roading, you and your party can find your way back before you become the Donner Party, there's no backup camera. One thing it does not have, and this is a really good place to point out, is it does not have a backup camera. Oh, yeah. As the person behind me was about to find out before I looked. <laughs> The 2012 Wrangler has a 3.6 liter V6. That power plant generates 285 horsepower and will get you from 0 to 60 in 8.4 seconds. The Sahara we tested with the automatic transmission gets 16 miles per gallon in the city and 20 on the highway. Not only is the new Wrangler peppier and better on gas, it also has a more civilized ride. In other words, you don't have to end your day trip with a trip to the chiropractor. 
The base two-door Wrangler starts at about $23,000. The Wrangler Unlimited Sahara that we tested started at about thirty-one dollars The 0 to 60 time on the Wrangler Unlimited Sahara with the automatic transmission was 8.4 seconds. With options including heated leather seats, remote start, navigation, and a body-colored hardtop, the price as tested was a little over $37,000. Oh, and just so you know, all the Jeep Wranglers sold around the world are made in Ohio. In Portland, Oregon, I'm Grant Winter reporting for Real World Test Drive.